The commencement speaker is chosen from among the students in one of the four academic colleges based on his or her outstanding scholarly achievements. Dr. Kathy Gunn, Dean of the College of Education, will introduce today's speaker. Good afternoon. On behalf of faculty and staff of the College of Education, it's my privilege to introduce to you Mrs. Stephanie Gibson for today's afternoon speaker. Stephanie Gibson of Solusville is the afternoon student speaker. Stephanie is a graduate of Gotham County High School. She's the wife of Benjamin Gibson and the mother of three children, Destiny, Avery, and Jenna Gibson. She is the daughter of Gerald and Virginia Hall, and the daughter-in-law of Christine Gibson and the late Kim J. Gibson. Stephanie is a candidate for a bachelor's degree in education, P5, LBD, P12. She received her Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degree from the Sandy Community and Technical College. Stephanie has maintained a perfect 4.08 point average at Oregon State. She has been on the Dean's List all but one semester when she was a sort of student at BCCTC and MSU. She's a member of Kearney Free Will Baptist Church in South Francisco. After graduating, Stephanie plans to apply for graduate school at MSU in the field of education. Someone in all my life, and they were reaching out to me. 
My husband, he has a bag full of prayer cloths. And we clung to those during this time. And I really felt God's arms all around me. And I found peace within. But at times, the thoughts in my mind went crazy with the what ifs. But just when I thought that I could stand no more with the uncertainty that clouded my future, I prayed for a sign, anything for God to ease my troubled thoughts. Well, it was then that my husband and I were driving down the road. And he abruptly stopped in the middle of the highway. He got out of the car and he picked something up off the ground. When he got back into the car, he handed me a brand new Bible that had been lying in the middle of the road on that hot summer stage. Needless to say, the tears flowed from my eyes. This time, the tears were of joy. You see, that Bible that was in perfect condition was my sign that God was in control. And I found at that moment that I discovered the difference between faith and trust. Now, not only did I have faith that God would give me a miracle, but I trusted that He would as well. Now, we've made many trips to Louisville, Kentucky, for scans, surgery, and treatment. Praying for healing and mercy, knowing that it was our only chance to see him together as a family. Not only did he have stage 4 colon cancer, but he also had respiratory and renal failure. At one point, he was on life support, but God never left my side. And God did give me my miracle. And today, my husband sits in this auditorium celebrating my graduation, just as your family and friends are here today, too. And his scans, they're clear. So see, change is not always good. Changes will occur. And we need to be ready to embrace whatever change is coming to our future. Do not let change define you. You must become a change. Because I have learned that even when times are at the worst, great things can prevail from those circumstances. So fellow classmates, as we step out on the floor to accept our hard-earned degrees, that out into the world, know that life is about change. No matter how much we may wish, nothing ever stays the same. So in the words of God, then, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Thank you, and God bless.